Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be they jealous, but you inspired them first. Yes, sir. Let me say a lot of for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they jealous, but you inspired them first, right? Now, family, we go through this a lot where people love you in the beginning. They can't get enough of you, right? And it's not to say you are the end all be all and, you know, you are God and they just kneel to you. What I'm saying, y'all, is that when you came into people's lives, you introduced them to something new. That's all, y'all. You introduced them to something new, you know? And then somewhere down the line, they became envious and jealous. But how is this possible when I inspired you first? So I'd like to say, anybody who became an enemy or any friend who became an enemy was an enemy all along. It don't just work like that. You don't just start hating me for no reason. You don't just become jealous of me just because I have a new car, new house, new apartment. Now I'm close to God. I open up a business. I'm a social media influencer, right? You know, if the glove fit where, but the point is y'all, things or materialistic possessions or external rankings shouldn't determine if you uh, like me or dislike me. If you like me or dislike me, that shouldn't determine that. And so, I can't believe I haven't done this video, you know, uh, sooner, because this right here is very real, y'all. It's very real. And so I had to make this one because a lot of people go through this. I know a lot of women do too. At first, you know, uh, uh, the girls that you used to hang out with or the women you used to hang out with, they admire your beauty. They admire your beautiful smile, right? Girl, I love when you wear that. Girl, I love when you do this. Now they can't stand you. I love your pretty black skin, right? Or you got some nice light skin, whatever the case is, right? And all of a sudden, it's like they hate you for what they used to love about you. It's crazy, family. Or for my guys, like maybe you are an entrepreneur, or even if you got a nine to five, right? Cause I don't look down on people who have a nine to five. I don't look down to those individuals. We all work them, right? But uh, let's just say you always consistent on your job and you get extra hours. So that means you make extra money and guys can't stand the fact that you are able to buy certain things. But it says in the scripture, y'all, that if a man does not work, then he won't eat. So why be mad at me? I'm just saying, y'all, it's like when people start off in the beginning, they love you so much. I mean, they just like you so much. And then next thing you know, now they got a big problem with you. Let me go across the street, family. Now they just got a big problem with you. It's crazy, y'all. It's crazy. But with that being said, family, as y'all can see, we are outside in nature, um, you know, getting to walk in, getting the steps in. Right now, why you got that hot suit on? I'm trying to lose weight, y'all. Okay, I told y'all. I'm trying to go ahead and get this. I'm trying to get this process going. I'm trying to get this process started, y'all. I'm trying to work. Okay? And, and, and of course, y'all, y'all know how it go. As soon as I start doing videos, people want to pull up on the car. I mean, pull up with their car, hop out the car, and all these type of things. Y'all know how it go. Nothing new. Right? But sticking to it, y'all. Health is wealth. And we getting the workout in. Okay? Um, we're about to cross over family. I want to say this. I got to go ahead and start this thing off with the scripture of the day. And so James chapter 3 verse 16. Yep, y'all. James chapter 3 verse 16. It says, For where envy and self-seeking exists, confusion and every evil thing is there. Right? Let me say it loud. For my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family. James chapter 3 verse 16 says, For where every, I'm sorry, y'all, for where envy 
and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. That's just what it's going to be, y'all. Anybody who shows envy or jealousy, they're always at confusion within themselves. They're always, you know, at confusion with anybody who they are around. They don't have a, they don't have a one-track mind or a focused mind. Why? Because they are confused and evil things exist where, wherever they are. Evil things exist wherever they are. They don't have good intentions and everything about them is malicious, all right? But with that being said, y'all, that's the scripture of today. And once again, y'all, like I told y'all, um, we're getting the steps in, family. And this is why I got my hot suit on. Y'all know I got to explain everything, y'all. But it's all good because y'all the family, all right? But anyway, let's go ahead and get into a chosen ones. Um, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video uh, as well as subscribe to the channel. Not only that, y'all, y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. All right, let's go ahead and get into it, chosen ones. So, number one, you were new, all right? And by the way, y'all, I'm giving y'all the cycle of how it goes from them loving you oh so much to now they hate you. This is the cycle, okay? So just so y'all can stay with me. But number one, y'all, you were new, okay? You were the new thing smoking. You were the new thing on the block. You were the new thing at the job. You was the new rela uh, person in the relationship. You were the new person in the marriage, right? Even marriages, what they say, y'all, in the beginning, they were newly wigs. At some point, y'all, something was new, and at some point, it got old. That's just how it operates. At some point, something was new, and at some point, it got old. That's just the way it is. And so you have to understand something, y'all. When you are, you know, the new thing in someone's life, it's almost like it's the honeymoon stage. Yeah, y'all, it's like the honeymoon stage. Everything sound good. Everything smell good. Everything look good. You can't do no wrong in their eyes, y'all. You can't do no wrong. Ain't that crazy? And then what happens is, you get old you get old <laughs> and then they start disliking you and now all of a sudden they're able to see your flaws all of a sudden they're able to see your mishaps and your misfortunes all of a sudden y'all but this is the first step of the cycle you are new okay as y'all probably hear y'all the um the wind is blowing y'all and honestly it's good for me right it's good for me probably bad for y'all but we're about to hit up this hill. Um, yeah, y'all, you were new. You got to understand that. So when you are new, realize that you're not getting the full version of most people. Right? I'm not saying that everybody is like this, y'all. Not all, okay? But the majority of people, when you are new in their life, they're going to act like they are in the honeymoon stage, Right? It's like you are a breath of fresh air. Number two, second step of this cycle is going to be this, y'all. Realization. Okay? Realization. And so with that being said, family, what realization means is you are bringing um, awareness to their life, situation, or scenario. And so you make them realize certain things you make them realize the decisions they've been making you make them realize you know their misfortunes their mishaps you know you bring awareness to wherever they are in life and it's not to say they are a bad person it's not to say they're doing terrible it's not to say that you know they even need your help but one thing i would say is it's nothing wrong with being an additive to somebody's life, job, situation, whatever the case is, if it's actually bringing value. You can't go wrong with getting a little extra value. I don't care who you are. I mean, you can be the president of the United States. If somebody is bringing value, meaning giving him something or her something that she needs, then you can't go wrong with receiving that extra value. I'm just being honest. I guarantee you. If I said I'm going to send everybody 
an extra one hundred dollars, <laughs> somebody gonna say, "Hey, I'll take it," and y'all can have a million dollars in the bank. I'm sure y'all will take it. But sticking to the point, y'all, realization. This is the second step of the cycle. This is why they are inspired. Because you have brought awareness to them. It's like they was once woke. I mean, while slept, sleep. It's like they were sleep. And you woke them up with your knowledge. You woke them up with your inspiration. You woke them up with your wisdom, right? And you gave them a new perspective. And that perspective then inspired them to do better, want better, you know, to do more, have more, all these different things, become more, all these different things, y'all. And that made them jealous of you, right? But we're not there yet, though. We still here on realization, okay? We are still here on realization. Y'all be sure to drop that word down below in the comments as well. Realization, okay? Y'all be sure to drop that down below in the comments realization all right number three is gonna be this family negligence okay negligence now when you're talking about negligence this means a person has now began to neglect the knowledge the wisdom the understanding uh neglect your beauty neglect your love neglect your brilliant mind neglect your ideas Neglect your wisdom. Just neglect anything that comes from you. Why? Because it came from you. See, this is why people can uh, congratulate everybody else. This is why they can love everybody else. Receive help from everybody else. You know, advice from everybody else. But they can't get it from you. Because it's something about you that makes them feel as if you are not the priority you are not valuable and you are not qualified to be teaching me anything you're not qualified to be the one who's the light bulb in my life you're not qualified right but see i got news for you and them god does not call the qualified he qualifies the unqualified right god qualifies the unqualified somebody drop in the comments and say i'm qualified Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say I'm qualified. Now, that's major, y'all. So, when you are wondering why, they act like they don't know you no more. They act like they just can't stand you. They just so ill with you, they are disgusted. It's because now they are in their negligence phase of the cycle, right? I'll say this, y'all, now I get to the, you know, um, to the next one. But even when it comes to certain people who follow me, some people and, and, uh, and subscribe to me, some people, they are very inspired in the beginning, very inspired. And then next thing you know, people just start wanting to debate with me. Now, here's the thing, y'all. I don't care if you are in a marriage. I don't care if you are in a relationship, friendship, at a job. I don't care if this is your mom and your daddy, whoever, y'all. You will disagree with someone you love and care about. I'm going to just go ahead and throw that out there. You will disagree with them. Simple as that. You're going to. It does not mean that people have to praise you, worship you. Definitely not that because that's idolatry. It does not mean that people have to kneel down and bow down to you. It don't mean that. It don't. However, y'all, it is okay to respectfully agree to disagree. That's okay. And so getting back to like some of my followers or subscribers, you know, some people, that was stupid, Reno. Why would you say that? Or Reno, I just, I, I, I can't receive this. I don't, I mean, you're wrong for this. I mean, just all these different things, y'all. And it happens. And now I look, I see a comment. They had the clapping hands, the hearts, love, like you do a good job, Reno. And then after a few months of hearing these videos, for some reason, you know, Reno don't know what he's talking about no more. It's because now they are in their negligence phase. They neglect what I say now. And I'm not talking about all because I have a good group of supporters. I want to make that clear. 
right? I got a lot of love out here. I'm not mad with my um, society and my community. I love y'all. I'm talking what well, I'm gonna say this, y'all. I have love for a lot of y'all. I'm gonna say it like that, right? And um, yeah, y'all. But let me say this too. Um, people who are uh, who neglect, you know, the things that I have said. I don't even take it personal. I just sit back and say, "Yep, there you go. You just like everybody else." At first, oh man. I love you so much, Reno. This is great. Two months, three months of watching my videos. I can't stand his content. It's always the same. Come on, man. Which one was it? I thought you loved me or had love for me. Now you, 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 you don't like what I'm talking about. Without going into this rant, family, what I'm saying is that's the same thing with you. Negligence. And of course, you know, y'all, every time we, you know, we're talking about a spiritual video, it's going to be somebody with a leaf blower. It's going to be somebody who's more in the grass. Yeah, of course, y'all. It never fails. Of course. Right? Of course. But it's all good, y'all, because we're going to continue to keep it going. But anyway, that's number three. Negligence. Okay? Negligence. This is why they disagree with you. This is why they can't stand when you, out of all people, speak on the same things they know to be true. It is because it has came from you. Negligence. All right? Number four, it's gonna be this, y'all. Uh, competition, okay? Competition. Competition comes from where a person, they know they can't beat you. They know they can't be you. But you know what? I'm still going to give this thing a try and attempt, attempt to try to defeat you, right? So they place you in this competition or they place you into this race that you know nothing about. They place you in this race that you know nothing about, right? So it's like they have this love-hate relationship with you. They can't stop watching your content. They can't stop, you know, hearing what you have to say. They don't let you know. And this is what we start talking about. People watching you, keeping tabs, watching your social media, and they just don't tell you, but they watch you, right? Um, they got you in this competition. And so everything that you're doing, they're trying to do it better. Everything that you're doing, they're trying to do it better, right? Understand something, y'all. It wasn't always like that. They were truly inspired. And then it turned into this, this competition. Once again, if you get two books, I got to get five books, right? If you took a picture with this celebrity, I got to take a picture with this celebrity. If you got a two-bedroom apartment, I got to have that or at least a three-bedroom apartment. Are y'all following what I'm saying, y'all? It is a competition. Everything is to destroy your image, your reputation, so people can leave your leadership or people can leave wherever you are in life and begin to follow them. Or not even just that, y'all, but people just want to outdo you in a public uh, aspect. People want to outdo you in a public aspect but see what people don't realize is you can't you can't outdo god you can't outdo god y'all somebody drop that down below in the comments yes sir drop in the comments family said you can't outdo god it ain't gonna happen y'all you're not competing with me you are competing with the blessings that god has for me it's a big difference okay uh number five family i was about to say number four but number five y'all is gonna be this pure hate pure hate y'all now this is where it just get to the point of the cycle or the phase of the cycle to where now they just can't even stand you nothing they're doing is being seen nothing they're doing is being noticed i mean you don't even acknowledge their presence and so that turns into pure hate like who are you to have the audacity to keep going and be successful without me you need me i'm superior to you this is their mindset family this is the mindset. See, now they're jealous, but they was once inspired at first. And how do we go from, I love you so much, or I have love for you, I want to see the best for you, to where now it's pretty, hey, you don't even speak to me. And I'm talking about, you know, how it is towards you, right? It probably sounds like I'm talking about my life. <laughs> but the point is, y'all, is that uh, pure hate, and this is why they are 
you know, in the mind state of where they are. Because they now have gotten to that cycle. So where now they just can't even stand you no more, you know? And yes, y'all, I experienced this too. I experienced it. Don't get me wrong, y'all. And have experienced it. And it's going to keep going until the test of time. It's not going to stop. It's not. You're going to meet a lot of new people. They're going to turn out to seem as if they are your friend and want to see the best for you. And then next thing you know, now they hate you. Right? What, 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 uh, what they say, y'all? Sour, sweet, gone. Just like a sour patch. <laughs> Just like a sour patch, y'all. But sticking to it, though, y'all, they jealous. You inspire them first. Right? I hope this video was able to be the Benadryl to, uh, to somebody's headache. I hope this video was able to inspire somebody, right? For longevity, not temporary. And I just hope this video was able to speak to somebody's situation. Because I know this is what you're going through. But with that being said, y'all, we got that work in today. And we got that word in today. Let's go ahead and do a recap. And then we'll conclude this video. So number one. You were new. Number two, realization. Number three, negligence. Number four, competition. And number five, pure hate. This is the cycle and how it goes from a person being inspired by you to hating you or jealous of you, okay? But with that being said, y'all, y'all already know how we do. If you would like to purchase any one of my t-shirts, uh, enroll into my social influence course, book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, or purchase any one of my books, y'all can do so by hitting the link down below in the comments, as well as the, uh, the description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform, as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality